Hello folks, welcome to another video and thank you for joining me. We've just pulled up at a nice spot called Twigmore. It's um, a little forest just outside of Scunthorpe, very popular with dog walkers and um, great, great place for bird spotting. We've just been sat here for about uh, 10 minutes to have a cup of coffee and a, and a cake and uh, I've already seen a, a couple of woodpeckers and a squirrel and um, the usual chaffinches, blue tits, great tits, etc. So anyway, the idea is chance to think. If you've seen my recent videos, then you know um, I've been contemplating whether or not to get rid of this beautiful Mini Cooper S E, the uh, electric car. I really, really do enjoy it. We've had great fun with it, but um, yesterday was another example of um, how difficult it is to live with when I actually had to change my plans because there wasn't a rapid charger on our route and it was just going to take too long. Um, as it happened, um, I, instead of going to Lincoln, I went to Scunthorpe and as we pulled into the Marks and Spencers uh, shopping mall car park, there was a free space available at um, an open pod point. Now, nine times out of ten that that is occupied you know we've been through there many many times and i don't think we've charged there more than two or three times in, in 18 months but yesterday it was available so we managed to hook up and we got a free charge um 17 kilowatts so about 10 12 pounds worth if we were to buy that on on the road at an osprey or an instavolt so there are still some uh, good opportunities when it comes to charging your electric car but few and far between now and you certainly can't plan them or rely on them. I still haven't made a decision on the car. Um, I'm talking to Motability about the possibility of installing a wall charger at my home. Um, the problem is my house is a strange shape, it's an L shape and the area where the um, the wall charge would have to be fitted is is not very big and it's covered with windows and meter um, reading um, boxes and that kind of stuff so I'm not very optimistic that we're going to be able to fit a wall charger and if that's the case then I think I'm erring towards having to give the mini back you know end the lease early um, so what to do if if I do hand the mini back what would I do well I'm thinking I'd probably go for a you know maybe a second-hand diesel car diesel's really cheap at the moment and um, one of my big considerations is range so you know if I go for a maybe a 10 year old BMW or something like that then I'm going to be looking at you know seven eight hundred miles range on a tank quite easily and that means I'll be filling up once a month effectively and I can do uh, filling at the gas station um, because I can stand up I can lean on the pump I can um, put, the, put the hose in, no problem, it's not heavy and it doesn't take a few minutes and then a lot of them are either pay at the pump or in some cases we've got drive-through um, payment like we do at the Asda in Lincoln. So that's um, a very strong possibility, that's what I'm thinking about. So I'll keep you posted on that front. In the meantime, we've been moving cars about. Um, I've sold one of my minis and um, it was quite a difficult thing to do but we just don't have enough space for all these cars i'm parking cars at my son's house at my daughter's house all over the place so something had to go so i actually advertised two of them and then i just sold the one that um, i got an offer on first in fact what i did is i put the car up for sale with car and classic auctions now if you want to check that out car and classic.com it's a uh, probably the biggest classic car website in the world and um, they now offer an auction service so um, it doesn't cost you anything they take the photographs um, all the expenses if you like the costs of the, the, the photographs and, the, and the, the selling fee comes out of the total sales price so what you do is you you have a reserve price what's your minimum that you want to take for the car and then um, they obviously have to sell it and you know to make enough to cover their costs and commissions and fees and everything else and uh, it just so happened that um, it sold and um, I've just sent the documents by airmail to California 
and um, well that's right the car's going to the USA so which car was it let's take a look so I advertised this uh, mini Cooper S Cabriolet 2005 the supercharger model getting it ready for sale bought it to the uh, car wash at Morrison's in Scunthorpe 30 pounds for a good valet inside and out and as you can see the car's in really good condition it's only done 56,000 miles it's never been thrashed and I've spent over 5,000 pounds on it in the last two years keeping it in really good order so great car and we'll be very very sad to see it go if it sells to drive it and we enjoy taking the roof down and enjoying the summer days. This is Twigmore by the way. Great thing about the Cabriolet is when you fold the rear seats down it's just like a little pickup truck and it's really quite easy to carry all my stuff. The other car I'm advertising for sale is our 1989 Mini Red Flame limited edition. They only made a thousand of these and there's only a handful left and this one is really quite a spectacular one. It's been fully, uh, it's been fully reconditioned and um, is, is in excellent condition. Um, don't really want to sell it but um, it's difficult. I can't get my wheelchair and everything in there and I can't drive it. Um, so you know that one can go as well. The electric mini um, that's been in the garage for the last few weeks um, because we haven't really been using it as I said previously um, I've been um, stressing out over charging the thing um, so we were using our BMW 320 Coupe that's the uh, six cylinder 2.2 petrol engine and um, as is a particularly good example only 46,000 miles on the clock and uh, a really beautiful car So we put in the mini red flame back in the garage while it's being advertised and then the BMW will be using it for a couple of days and then we'll be taking it up to my daughter's house and I'll be putting it in her garage on Sorn until next summer. Our mini clubman, the uh, hot chocolate metallic mini Mayfair tribute is um, currently at my son's house and uh, we'll be getting that back when we've put the BMW away. Because I've been moving all the cars around quite a bit my daughter got to drive the Mini Clubman, um, the Mini Red Flame and the convertible so she got quite accustomed to uh, all the different Minis and um, seemed to take a liking to them. Now she had a BMW 325i M Sport, uh, which was a terrific car, but it was costing a fortune in, in petrol. So um, I saw a really good deal on a Mini Cooper SD. And um, when I told her about it, um, she was a little bit skeptical, but I told her to go and have a look at it. And um, when she got there, she's uh, fallen in love with the car. And so anyway, now we've got another Mini in the family. So that's great. And uh, later, in the summer we'll be going to East Kirby RAF um, the Dam Busters Memorial Base and um, there's a big mini meeting there so hopefully she'll be coming with us and we can take a bunch of our minis there so uh, looking forward to that Well, the transporter's here to take the car away, so you can probably uh, guess that it's the Mini Red Flame that's got sold. Um, sad to see it go. Really, really nice car. It just makes you smile every time you see it. When you walk past, you can't help but uh, 
look back at it. It's raining today, so a bit of wheel spin, trying to get it up onto the back of the transporter. So uh, Adrian, the driver, is fitting the winch so he can pull it up. And uh, this is going to go off into storage for a week or two, then it goes down to Southampton and then it will be away to uh, the USA and it's new owner Russell who I've spoken to online and he's really excited to have won the car in the auction. He's already got another one, um, another um, limited edition Mini and uh, I think he's looking to put a collection together so I'll be keeping an eye open for him if I can find any other similar Minis. So that's the one. Great little car and um, I'm glad that somebody that really really loves it is going to enjoy it. Well, that brings you up to date with where I am with the cars at the moment. Um, I have bought something else, which I'll update you about very soon. And um, obviously I'll be making the decision on whether or not to keep the EV very soon. So anyway, I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. And if you did, please give me a like, share and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So uh, anyway, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.